Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we are once again back at the Lexi Hotel just off of Sahara Boulevard and 15 Freeway for another songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. This weekly event has become a cool hangout for some amazingly talented local musicians and a definite destination spot for lovers of original live music. While previous showcases at this location have been held outside of the pool, this time we moved inside into the hotel's Artisan Lounge. Unfortunately, the lounge is booked up with private events for the rest of June and possibly into July. I'll keep you posted on uh, if there's any more future showcases there. The theme of the night was breakup songs, and we are so sad to have to take a break from the Lexi, but it'll be okay. This video is brought to you by Potato Parcel. Yes, you heard that right. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Before we jump into the review, I wanted to update you on uh, some things. I've been a busy little bee lately, and you might not be aware of all the things that I have going on. The links for all of this stuff are somewhere down in the description below. I have not one, but two podcasts now. You know, with all that free time I've got. Every Monday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you can watch or listen to Room 6 Radio over on Twitch. On uh, this podcast, I list all the local original live music Nevada-based shows for the week that have popped up on my radar. Plus, we revisit a performance or two right here in Room 6 by a former Room 6 interview guest. It's only about 10 to 15 minutes, but hopefully you'll know where to go to see local acts Monday through Sunday, or maybe you'll discover a new favorite. Also, every second and fourth Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, my good buddy Sean Flume, who was my first ever interview guest, my former drummer and drum teacher, and has reviewed many a whiskey on this channel with me, and I chat for about an hour on our bi-weekly podcast, Two Brains, One Bottle. This is our excuse to drink some whiskey, make terrible dad jokes, discuss a topic of the day, or by the fortnight, I don't know, and hear some weird news and answer listener questions with dubious advice. We have fun doing it, and I think that you'll enjoy it too. Finally, I've been live streaming these showcases for over a year now at various locations, and if you can't make it in person, catch the live streams on Twitch or here on the channel. See you in the comments. Got all that? Good. I've been really trying to draw attention to local music as much as I can, but I need you folks to please consider following the Twitch channels uh, on screen because it's the, the quickest and easiest way to help me grow this thing called Room 6. Or, you know, you could always buy some merch. <clears throat> Enough pandering. Starting things off right was our host, Hal Savar. Hal's been putting a lot of new music out lately, so make sure you go to the description and uh, follow him online to learn more. I've also put the uh, social media handles for all the acts I've talked about in this video. Tell him Room 6 sent you. Hal's songs are really stories drawn from his life, and he's become a master at crafting his music to tell the tale with catchy and recognizable guitar hooks, dynamic vocal performances, nice earworms, and a wry humor interwoven into each tune. Audiences can't help but pay attention and get suitably hyped for whatever else is to come. Following Hal was Anna Dwerdian, a face we haven't seen in a while, but uh, we're glad that uh, she dropped by. Anna's sound is lyrical and sweet, and her songwriting is centered around healing and togetherness. She sings from the heart and did a great job of following Hal's set. Up next was Room 6 alumni and showcase repeat offender, Nidia Martinez. Joined by Ryan Severn on guitar, Nidia proceeded to lay her soul bare with songs about self-discovery and acceptance of who you are and who you want to be. Her lilting voice drifted over Ryan's guitar chords to enrapture the crowd. Back for his second time on one of Hal's showcase stages, 
Eli Milan was next. Eli will be releasing some new music soon, so check him out and all the acts mentioned down in the description, like I said. Speaking of his music, he is part of a special group of songwriters that can tell a story and transport the listener to a whole other place. He'll be coming on the channel soon, I think, uh, for an interview, so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. You know what I love? Surprise gifts. You know what I really love? Gifts that are clever, unexpected, and most of all, edible. But what the heck? Let's throw someone's face on it while we're at it. Potato Parcel is a service that allows you to send anyone a personalized message on a potato. Thinking of sending a birthday? Congrats, get well soon card? This is a quirky and hilarious alternative to the traditional card. Your friends, family, and others will get a kick out of it. Just for watching this video, and for a limited time only, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your order by entering the coupon code TAKE10 at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Potato Parcel for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's show. Caroline Tronowski was up next, another songwriter back for her second time on one of uh, our stages. Caroline grabbed the songwriting torch lit by Elon Milan and ran with it, drawing the listener in with her quiet, self-assured manner, reminiscent of performers like Dido or local phenomenon Zoe Day. I see great things in her future. Following Caroline was Kelly Dorn, a face I haven't seen in a while, but he plays all over town. Like so many showcase performers, Kelly performed on Room 6 as part of his interview, but it was a great opportunity to hear him on stage in all his glory. Where Eli and Caroline drew the listeners in, Kelly turned up the volume to 11 and made everyone sit up and pay attention. Up next on stage was showcase favorite David Wax. I've reviewed David's performances a ton, but it's always great to watch him perform. With a storytelling vibe like Elvis Costello, he never fails to impress musicians and fans alike with his complicated chord structures and evocative lyrics. David was joined by Amante the drummer, who sat in throughout the night with uh, various people on his last song, On the Way to Denver, a favorite of Hal and the rest of the showcase regulars. Blasting the doors off the place, Stanley Avenue was up next. This talented four-piece also plays cover songs all over town, but it's when they play their original music that they really shine. The rhythm section is tight, dynamic changes in volume and tempo keep things interesting, and the crowd loved them. Following a band like Stanley Avenue by yourself is no mean feat, but this next act was up to it. Normally performing with his band, All at Odds, Just Jeff was next. Jeff and the band have been on the showcase so many times, it was refreshing to see him play solo, just like the first time he hit the stage. Combining a little self-deprecating humor with songs full of folk song elements, he did a great job slowing down the pace a little and hitting reset on the night. Speaking of hitting things, the, hitting the stage next was Joe LaRocco, also known as Joe the Associate. Where Jeff brought some folk song elements, Joe invited some classic rock to the party. Soon to be the featured artist at Soul Belly Barbecue on June 18th, Joe definitely had some fans in the uh, crowd. Strong vocals told stories full of metaphors and similes as the audience sang along. Switching things up a bit, Room 6 alumni Habit and First Lady Frankie brought a little hip-hop and R&B to the Lexi stage. Keeping Amante on stage and utilizing a laptop for backing tracks, this married duo proceeded to turn up the hype level in the lounge. Habit's smooth flow and Frankie's lyrical crooning complemented each other perfectly, and they even got Hal to throw some guitar and uh, a vocal hook in the mix. Maintaining the singing to a track vibe for one more song, Denise Folihan hit the stage next. Powering through some minor technical difficulties with her track, Denise treated everyone to her passionate and powerful vocals, and it was a shame we only got to hear one song from her at uh, this event. Finishing out the night was longtime friends of the channel and the showcase, the band Chalmer. Keeping Amante on stage for some backbeat, singer Chalmer Harper and lead guitarist Chris Massa capped off this amazing night 
with an explosive set full of their trademark music that focuses on inspiring and moving people on uh, multiple emotional levels. They were a great way to cap off a night full of musical twists and turns. Overall, the fourth installment of the Lexi Hotel Songwriter Showcase was great, and we hope to be back there uh, in July. I also hope we'll see you at the next one inside Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street in the Arts District on Sunday, June 18th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., hosted by yours truly. That means me. And I'll be playing too! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you will, number one, click the all the social media and the links down in the description to, you know, keep up with all these artists. They're amazing. They're doing some really cool things around town. Also, if you couldn't be at the show, I hope that you'll check out the live stream. I've put the link down there as well for uh, the one that just happened. If you want to be at Showcase uh, in Soul Belly on the 18th, come on by. Main Street, Arts District. It's awesome. If you can't make that, please check out the live stream. And the best way to do that is to follow me at Twitch or subscribe and, you know, you'll it'll be on here too. What else? Oh yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, click up there and don't forget to ring the bell and it really does make a difference. I appreciate all of you. Uh, and uh, if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time on Room 6.